What's up guys? Today we are going to be looking at two new Roxy's Pinball Panic tables in the Medieval Mayhem DLC. I think that's what it's called. I hope that's what it's called. I know it has Medieval in it. <laughs> um, but this is probably, you know, it's really close, closely tied with my first favorite, uh, which was the uh, Crazy Carnival DLC, the Ghoulish Games pack. And I absolutely love the dark, rich colors that you get here. Um, you know, oranges, reds. It's like, you know, dark, the play field. But when I saw the preview, my favorite thing are those chests as drop targets. I just found them so cute. Like, you know, such a nice idea here, you know. So let's go here. So I did have to do a clean install uh, because when I was playing it it didn't show up but uh in any event here we are Ooh, okay so it goes into a plunger and the plunger is like wait where'd the plunger go oh wait a minute well that's pretty cool so where did the plunger go let me hit those chests i love the music too you got this little you can not music but it's like it's like forge noises and stuff and then I think those are like witches cauldrons I like their sound too we can also we can look at their angle um hold up let me whoa what is that wait C is the camera angle right C okay so here's a nice view of it here actually very warm table i gotta say this is like second this is like really closely tied with uh crazy oh, carnival God. look at that thing in the middle I like the sounds too look when you hit the poppers you can see like Pew. also you got like these interesting like heads like does it, like you know those like animal heads in the outline and I love to the the uh, what do you call those like the like f the torches the torches on the sidings of the uh, table really nice remind me of like a minecraft kind of thing whoa but you know my favorite thing has got to be the chest look at the chest it even has like teeth on the toy on the right there's actually a minion in uh, Hearthstone that is exactly like a chest with teeth. <laughs> so the music might be kind of hard to hear. I don't know what it might be my settings, but I love hearing like these like atmospheric noises. So such a warm table and then like these borders like the where the um chests are i like how oh they even have like a, you can even see like their little light the little like little light bulb in them when you hit them that is so cool but i but the chests are my favorite for sure like i love the little chests like oh man this table's great and the pop bumpers cauldrons that that is plus you have the rich colors so really solid DLC the only thing I wish there was was I might be spoiled by uh, First blood. <clears throat> by medieval madness but I was really I mean it would really be nice if there was like some trolls or ogres like you know that I think that's for me at least that really makes that would really make it like complete you know you have dragons of course which i love but i think you need the ogres and the goblins it would be really cool too to see like a mechanic uh not necessarily on medieval madness but like a mechanic like medieval madness where you have a pop-up 
toy that could be a goblin. You know, like you do have a medieval madness. Love it though. I love how you, how the developer took ordinary things like spinners, but used. But you know, made it into the theme of the medieval madness. So that looks like a like a like an emblem flag or a, you know. Fall back. Oh, I can hear you hear the organs. It might be a little low, but I hear the organs. This DLC also did come with, uh... Oh, we gotta get the big chest! Because when you hit all the... Oh, no! When you hit all the tiny chests, that you can get the big chest. Oh, did I just... Negative. Oh, okay, that's the nudge. I'm... Love these chests. And the cannon plunger save. You still have the Medic. gems. I think that's what drew me to this game in the first place was these little gems that you just collect. Oh! Ooh! <laughs> then you have the statistics here. Ball one was my best ball. So that was the first one. That was called uh, Nat. Was it called? Let's see, this one that I just played was called Nasty Nights. Okay, so now we wait. Now we play Creepy Castle. It was yeah, Creepy Castle. Okay. Doing a little table overview here. Wow, look at this. Look at that. That's uh, look at that person sitting on the throne. Very dungeon-like. Oh, look at that skeleton. Then you have extra flippers here. So it's kind of like the first one, but a little different. Got a lot of candles laying around. Torch lights. Oh, you excuse me. You even have a pop bumper in the middle. That is really neat as well. Love this design. Let's go here. And you have more cute little chests. Oh, you know what I also like about this one? Is like, see how the walls around the, like the, the usual rail guide near the flippers? It's like a wall, like a, a castle wall. That's really neat. This is probably very close. Like I think this DLC and Ghoulish Games are probably tied. It's I think with this one, it's the design, it's the color scheme, it's dark red. The theme is very well done, I have to say. The cauldron bumpers. Look at that dragon. Wow. See, even in Medieval Madness. The only thing small but the only thing I wish there was were some like goblins or trolls or ogres maybe for a new DLC but this table has a lot look at that even coffin like tombstone opening so much to look at Love too how these flippers are nestled behind the <clears throat> behind the um like the boards themselves. That's pretty cool. I want to try to get all these chests though. I also love seeing that more people are uh, checking out this game. Uh,
Got a little kick out hole there, okay. Love that bone sound too. But you know what would be really cool? If the the cauldron pop bumper in the middle was like we had green liquid. You know what I mean? That'd be really awesome. Oh yeah, two for one. Oh look at the, the toothy chest. I love that. Love that. Well, I keep on forgetting about these flippers up top. There we go. How many more chests? Oh, it reset. Oh, okay. Oh! So in this one, the chest, the bank of chests reset. See? Don't forget, you also have new cosmetics. I think there was a uh, spiky ball. Look at that. Look at that rich lighting. You have like, like, red, like, embers in the back. So yeah, the only thing I would, would change or add was I would make the cauldron in the middle, like green liquid, to kind of make it look different and maybe make it a little bigger. Um, and I would definitely add some, you know, ogres or trolls. But that's just me. That's just my preference. Oh, look at that. You have a little bat flying. Wow. Great work with keep, you know... With all these moving things, it really keeps the table, you know, breathing alive. You know what I'm saying? And then you have the knight statue in the background, which is awesome. <clears throat> Life lost. Okay. I thought that was... Uh... Love that noise. Can you complete the bank of chests. And you also have, uh, also came with some extra, ooh, wow, wait. It also came with some extra, like, arcade mode, so don't forget to check that out. Ready. Whoops, my... Confirm, and you can also change. Whoops! What happened here? Wait, did I just? What? Oh, okay. I think I I ha I want to see my score. Let me see my score. Um, high score sixty three. Let's go to. Let me see something for a sec. 
Okay, let me go to high scores. Oh no, Randy! How could you? <laughs> well, guys, thank you for watching me play the new duel DLC. Blah, I can't talk. Um, this has been Medieval Mayhem on Roxy's Pimmel Panic. Till next time, I'll catch y'all later. Take care, guys.